Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the gaming channel, Despone. So today I have another custom Minecraft plugin that I wanted to show you guys, and uh, as was with the uh, Auction House plugin, this is one that is only specifically for my servers, so that's really, really exciting. Uh, basically just means that no one else has it right now, which is really, really cool. But what the plugin is, is it's called Vault Storage. Basically, you put your items in a vault, that is controlled by an NPC. So you don't put your items in a chest, it is you're storing your items with an NPC. So if you die and you lose items, you actually won't lose the items that are in the vault. Let's say for example that someone goes to your base and like raids your entire base, gets all your items, they actually won't be able to get to your vault because it is specifically controlled by you. So, and the coolest part is, is that it's actually controlled by an NPC. So you basically come into the uh, bank and you'll see that there's a little NPC right here looking at me, hello sir. And what you do, is you just click on the guy and you'll see that actually my character already has three vaults open. To have a vault, it is permission based. So, um, for example, default players can only open one vault, uh, VIP players can open two vaults, uh, legend rank three vaults, etc., etc., until you reach five vaults total. And then the rest of them we're probably going to set up so that they are uh, buyable. Um, so if you need extra space, you can actually buy them. And then um, we're also working on a command that you're able to wirelessly access your vault, which is really, really cool, and that will probably also be a viable feature. Um, so yeah, you'll see that I have three vaults, um, and you'll see that it actually shows what is in the vault, so this one contains three items, this one's zero, zero. So in the first vault, you'll see that I have three items here, I can, you know, put whatever into it, um, and uh, exit it, you know, and there they are, they're still in there, obviously. Also, to open a vault, it actually costs money in-game, so um, the first vault that you'll open costs 10,000, and then it doubles to 20,000, 40,000. If I was to buy another one, you'll see that it costs 80,000, and so on and so forth. So, it kind of is costly, but the coolest part, and why it is so costly, is that actually in all worlds where there's an NPC banker, you can access your items from. Let's say, for example, a new player came into the server, um, you know, had a bunch of items that they had, made an entire base in Xeris, but then they decided that they wanted to upgrade um, to, you know, a VIP rank or whatever and check out Azoria. What they would be able to do is go and open a bank vault in Xeris, store all their items in there, and then they'd be able to go to Azoria and get their items and basically have it so nothing, you know, changed. So if I actually went to uh, Azoria right now, which I will do now, so I just spawned in Azoria and you'll see that actually right to the left of spawn is another vault storage thing. So this is a completely different world. So it's actually not the same world in which we just saw the other vault storage, even if it is exactly the same inside. But you'll see that once I come in here, there's another banker, his skin hasn't loaded for some reason, but um, if I click on this banker, you'll see that I have exactly the same amount of vaults open, and I have the exact same amount of uh, items within that vault. So it basically makes it so that, you know, you're able to access your items from whatever world you want to be on, um, or, you know, if you want to build something cool in this world, you can build it cool in this world as well, and share your items basically in between each world. So um, that is how the plugin works, and it is pretty simple of a plugin, um, but yeah, it is really, really awesome. I was looking for something like this forever, and I just could not find it, so basically my friend and I just decided to make it. Um, and yeah, that is basically it, but um, the reason that we made this also is because we just opened the third um, survival world called Bloodlands, and so um, in the server there is a banker on Xeris, which is default world, Azoria, which is the quest world, and Bloodlands, which is the factions world. So you're basically able to share items all between those worlds. It didn't really make sense for us to allow you to share items in the creative world because then you could store things from creative and basically make you know a ton of money or whatever so we decided that was probably a bad idea but um, you know on the worlds that you're actually in uh, survival mode you can access your items from all of three of those worlds so it's pretty fucking sick and I'm really really stoked about it I'm even more stoked that this is another reason that the Captain Deskcraft server is becoming like really uh, cool and unique and it has its own you know custom fucking plugins which not a lot of people have, so I'm really stoked. Um, and if you guys enjoy that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also leave in the comments down below, you know, what you think of it, what I can improve on this thing, uh, or if I could make, you know, another plugin, what it should be. So yeah, leave all of those uh, in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, if you get on the server, which the IP address can be found in the description down below. If you get on the server, though, hopefully you guys will give it a try and uh, check out all of the awesome features that it that it basically gives you. So yeah. Um, that being said, though, guys, I will see you next time in fair winds.